Welcome Hydromaniacs! Hey Hydro! Okay! Hey, got my unseen partner here. Hydra J Dog. He doesn't like cameras. You only get to see his excellence in the ring. I'm Hydra J I'm Hydra Dave. Okay? So check this out. We are getting a feed from Saginaw, Michigan. Can't say I've ever been there. Can't say I don't want to be there. But hey, I'm not there. I'm in a safe house in a bunker. Hydra facility bringing you this feed. So check it out. Ho, 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 ho. What do we got going on? We have the first round of this month's Challenger Tournament. Okay? So we have six quarterfinal matches going on. We got some debut folks, meaning we have some contestants in the tournament that uh, have never contested before. And uh, I'll bring that you guys up to speed on that. So hey, first off, let's kind of work it backwards. We got two quarterfinal, quarterfinal matches from the tag team side of the house. Okay? All right. So, in the first quarterfinal match of the UCWF Tag Team Challenger Tournament, we have the Mutants, Beast, and a guy we haven't seen in a while, a guy that we haven't, that we haven't seen in a while since Juggernaut put a beat down on him, Beast and Colossus. So they're switching it up. The mutants are switching it up. Nightcrawler seems to be taking a little break. And they're going to be going against a new team. An old, an old dude, but a new team. Pretty excited about it. We've got Vlad the Impaler, Dracula, and his partner. Barren blood. This kind of is going in. So what's going on? What do we got going on? I told you a couple days ago at UCWS show number 18 that uh, this month is going to be uh, Axes and Allies month. Super Axes and Super Allies month. All building up to the Axes and Allies show on July 5th. Okay. But, so, oh, that's where Dracula and Baron Blood come in. They are eligible, apparently, for the Challenger Tournament. So they're here, Baron Blood and Vlad the Impaler, Dracula. The other tag team match is, quarterfinal match, is none other than the notorious Fisk Incorporated. They're still together and hey, they look pretty good in, a, in what was really a loss. Uh, but hey, they still look pretty good last time out. Maybe they ironed out their differences and they got it figured out. And they are going to go going against the Patriots. And the Patriots are going to consist of the invaders are going to consist of, that's what I call them, the invaders. They consist, they're going to consist of this time around for this round of tournaments of Captain America and the Spirit of 76, who we saw team up with uh, Patriot a couple of days ago in the uh, UCWF show 18 to go against Strucker and Zemo, and they won. So hey, we'll see what they how they do against Fisk. So those are the two UCWF Tag Team Challenger uh, matches for the quarterfinal round. So we have four more quarterfinal matches. Grandmaster's going to shake it up a little bit. He's given us two from the Grand Prix Championship quarterfinal challengers and two from the UCWF Universal Challenger quarterfinals as well. So on the Grand Prix Challenger tour tournament side, the quarterfinalists that are going to be fighting tonight are Sasquatch going against, again, a new contender, a new challenger coming in 
from the World War II timeline. He's none other than Masterman. It's going to be Masterman and Sasquatch challenging each other for an opportunity to move on for the opportunity to challenge Namer, the new champion, that holds the Grand Prix title. Also, on the other side of the quarterfinal match from the for the Grand Prix title, the challenger quarterfinal that we're gonna to see tonight is gonna to be Taskmaster against the reigning undisputed UCWF Universal Champion Thor. I don't think of much of Taskmaster's chances, to be quite frank with you. He might find a way. He went right through Deadpool at uh, Extreme Rules. So who's to say what might happen, but I, I think it's going to end up a lot like what happened when he fought Juggernaut. Okay? So I wish you luck, Tasky, but I don't see it happening for you. Now, for the Challenger Tournament, for the UCWF Universal Belt, which is held by held by Thor, we're gonna get two quarterfinal matches. First one's gonna be Drax the Destroyer against the ever-loving blue-eyed Thing, Ben Grimm Thing. Okay, and in our main event, we're gonna get two guys fighting again. Contending for that UCWF Universal Belt. They both have held it. And it's going to be Hyperion versus Trico No Belt Slatterus, the Elder of the Universe and the Champion of the Universe. And that's going to be in our main event. So, hey, I've talked long enough. I'm excited about this tournament match card. And uh, we will. Talk about it at the end of the show. And uh, if you like what you're watching, subscribe. And uh, hit notifications so you know when we're premiering a show. And then make comments for what you think of some of the fights. We love to read the comments. So, I've talked enough. I can't wait. The feed's start to come in. We're going to kick it off with Sasquatch and Masterman in a... Grandmaster Grand Prix Championship Challenger Quarterfinal. See you soon. Hail Hydra!
And Byron, I would say these guys look more than ready to start this match. So is this crowd. Mutual respect for each other. Based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. You can't put a price tag on landing that perfect strike. And that nailed him. He's simply reminding him that he's here. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. This is one of those pivotal points in a match where some superstars fall to the pressure, but I wouldn't expect that from him. His perseverance will likely push him through here. Oh, look out! Big opportunity here! Did you hear that thud? God! He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. He's not looking good here. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you should count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in him. He has him right where he wants him. Look out, look out! And there it is! There is no coming back from that one. I think that's what he can do it here. No, I got the shoulder up at the very last moment. Might have slipped there, Cole. Whoops, not even close. What was he thinking? to the entire WWE locker room here. This might be it. You gotta believe this one's over. This 
could be the turning point. He's in a very bad way here, guys. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. I thought he had to pin for sure. I can't believe what we're seeing here. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in.
No countering that overhand punch. Somehow has to find a way. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Just making his presence felt there. Diving into his bag of acrobatic tricks. Perfectly executed. He knows he's in trouble. An unbelievable neck breaker. I want to pride on the line. 
right here. This he somehow breaks free. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing left to give here. Taking down the man. His partner wants back in. Yeah, but what you want and what you get are often two very different things. Better stay right where he is. Whoa, did you see what he just did? Incredible! Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. Just making his presence felt there. with a reversal. The way I see it, this might be a good time for the finisher. A few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Absolutely vital that he get to. 
to his corner and make the tag. Otherwise, this match is over. Oh, man, he has plenty of reason to be concerned here, guys. But you know what? So does his opposition. This is about as close as it gets. Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quick in here on that pool. This thing turns around here. This tag team match is all but over. If he could just make it to his corner, these guys still have a chance. But if not, I don't see how he can overcome all this punishment and win. Yeah, but it's very important that we don't lose sight of the fact that he's been in control for much of this match. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. He's looking at it. Nicely executed. That might have done it, Cole. Dropped like a bad habit. Yep, reverses it. Gets the tag. There they go. That's one of those moves where you check your extreme. Here he goes for the win. Showing very few signs of life here. Yeah, there's no way he comes back from this. Might as well ring the bell now. He's just playing classic offense here. That landed perfectly. Driven back down to the mat with unbelievable power. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big time damage, my friend. Here he goes. Wow, set time. Man, that's going to hurt. What a comeback. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. Amazingly, neither side looking to give in here, guys. I don't think we could have asked for a more exciting match. Tag in. Teamwork right there. Chaos! Melee! Pandemonium! Oh, somehow! I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Well, his opponent included. And there's his speed paying off. He clearly did his homework getting into tonight.
There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep. Get rid of it. Oh, and a knockout punch. Oh, man. This one's over, guys. He's still not moving, guys. He might be out, Cole. He's in trouble. He can't take much more. He's astonishing acrobatics coming through here. Ain't no stopping him now. It's all academic from here. But can he follow up here? What a combination. Cole, that might just do it here. Singles matches coming. 
coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Well, he definitely looks ready for what's ahead of him here tonight, that's for sure. I agree with that, Michael. In fact, I don't remember the last time I saw him in better shape than he's in right now. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. And looking around the Saginaw Arena, there doesn't appear to be one person in their seat. Hit with a swinging neck breaker, painful. That's perfectly placed in how you land the big strike. You have to worry about his orbital bone after that. Struggling to breathe here. Inside the ring now. That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. Counters that one, fires it with the axe handle. And his elbow finds the mark. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Six. Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a count out. Eight. He wants no part of the outside. Nine. He's showing some aggression with that elbow. strike guys look at a catch him off guard this is what makes him one of the best in the business Looks like he's starting to falter. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. If we see his finisher again here tonight, I would assume the match would be over. But what do I know? I also assumed it was over the first two times he attempted it. Man, I knew this was going to be a closely fought battle, but I didn't realize it was going to be this close. This is unreal. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. He 
talking about a doctor will be looking at that neck after this one. Flips the script on him there. I don't know, guys. I really thought we would have seen the finisher already. He might have it. I'll be shocked if that's not it. Is that it? Is it over? Yeah, he can do it here. I think we're at the point of this match where the finisher could be used at any moment here. Nope. Reverses it. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Missed by a large margin on that one. Wow, he's better than that. Delivered a beautiful uppercut, man. That had some force behind it. Simply incredible athleticism. He gets it with a reversal. He is a one-man gang in there. Byron, he may be down for good. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Not after the beating he's taking. Got a little something brewing here. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. Tonight may not be as we can't argue with the results. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. This is his opportunity to win this thing. This has been a battle. He looks for it once again. Ill-advised move. Looking for the win. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Two! One up the buses! This one's over! Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. He's simply reminding him that he's here. He's got to be vigilant about not taking any more damage to the neck. This should do it right there. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. Boy, that was terrible. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh no, did you hear the sound of that impact? Showing very few signs of life here. Yeah, there's no way he comes back from this. Might as well ring the bell now. One, two, three. No, he kicked out. Wow, what's it going to take? He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. He might just be out, guys. I agree. He hasn't moved one bit. Oh, that's a reversal. Oh, 
He has something big planned. Wow, I thought he would have got it. Dodges a bullet there. Can't say vertical after the belly to belly suplex. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, they did some big time damage, Michael. This has got to be it. This has been a rule. It's the overhand punch. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. When this guy's on, look at him. Behind it. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Impressive, but you gotta be careful if you go to the wall too often. This could end in a hurry. And he lands a slam. But he's running out of fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? The force of that impact should put an end to this match right here. Saunders down, this could be it! The unfortunate reality is he might not get up, which wouldn't shock you one bit. Talk about a beating he's taking here tonight. There's the pin. Ken is upon a kick out. Planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. He can't take much more. Punch. My goodness, that can hurt. Here he goes for the win. I'll tell you what, this is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker School, that's for sure. Here we go again. A move like that is completely unnecessary. Unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. And that's the important DDT. It could be over here. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Made him pay there. John escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Ain't gonna stop him now. Reverses that one. Will this be it? There's gotta be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you gotta dig down deep. Get rid of the self-doubt and continue on to a victory. Can he score the pin? <laughs> Textbook uppercut. <laughs> the intensity of this match has been in. This could do it. It's over. It's all over. It's
to start the show. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the car unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. roster on any given night, and I don't see why tonight is any different. Well, they're all real men in the WWE, but he's going to have to do something extra special to show he's more real than his opponent here tonight. swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. I'd say it's still a little early for him to take any risks, but given the way he's wired, you know he'll be looking to make a splash here soon. Ain't no stopping him now. And there's the speed paying off. Now it's T in a little bit of trouble here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. His ego's clearly taking a hit here, but that's okay. His gigantic ego can afford to take a few bruises. <laughs> Look at 
looks like T starting to fade some. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. This one's still pretty evenly matched, guys. Though, if you went by the size of his ego, you'd think he was running away with it. Oh, no. We know what this is. Gets to the ropes, forcing a break. And Michael, I have to question the decision to go for a submission so close to the ropes. He's on the defensive now. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. Guys, given his bold personality, don't be surprised if he looks to take some sort of big risk here soon. He has a one-man game in there. Safe to say that was not the original plan. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. Things definitely aren't looking very good for him right now. Point on the end of a match, guys. He's lining him up. He's looking at it. He had it locked in tight, guys. Here he goes for the win. One, two. the finisher already. An incredible chop. This could be it for him, guys. Yeah, he's on Dream Street. He jumps so high off the ground, he can invent moves in the air. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. This should do it right there. True testament to Gwen. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Not so fast. Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely he could be over here. Two. Yeah. Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. He might just be out, guys. I agree. He hasn't moved one bit. He wants it one more time. He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of it. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's in control. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. Don't blink. You don't want to miss this. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. He clearly did his homework getting into tonight. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. There might be no getting up for that DDT. And now one more time. Free. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing left to give here. 
Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. Oh, my God. He is a lethal weapon. And there it is, boy. Shoulders down. This could be it. One, two. Now he kicks out at two and a half. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Corey. Saxton would never be able to do it. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely right. This guy's a machine. No reverses it. Looking for a repeat. He has it. One, two. He can pin his opponent right here. One, two, three. Oh, I thought that was it. Wow, I thought this was over. damage one person can take. I don't care how tough you are. And he comes crashing down. He's going for the bend. This could be a two. The pitch off and the victory.
This is without a doubt a big time match for him, guys. I don't think he can afford to come up short in this one. I'd say that statement is more true now than ever before. That's how heated the competition here in WWE is right now. with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Sounds to me like this Saginaw crowd is fired up for this one. He's starting to stumble here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. He wants no part of the outside. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Suplex! He got the reverse 
Russell.
And he lands the slam. That might just be the final nail in the cup. He thinks he has it.
He's calling for it. He'd be wise to stay right there. Looks like Rogers starting to slip a bit. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. This could be it, 
for him, guys. Yeah, he's on Dream Street. Trouble here. 
He'd be smart to stay put there. He has a one-man gain in there. He might not get up, which wouldn't shock me one bit. Talk about a beating he's taking here tonight. He's looking shaky. This could be the end. Drop kick. Beautiful. Can he finish him off here? In on the tag. Game over. He's off to the bat. This could be it. Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. 
Sounds to me like this Saginaw crowd is fired up for this one. Really climbing the ladder to execute that one. He's taking a lot of punishment. If it continues, it could eventually affect his vision. You have to worry about his orbital bone after that. expecting. Six. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. Back now inside the ring. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. He's taking some offense. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. I definitely admire his style in the ring, but as this match goes on, he has to remember that you don't get points for respect, meaning he might have to be a little more ruthless than usual if he wants to win this match. the pace of a match quite like this guy. Consider this 
It's an upset, Byron. Yeah, hard fought victory for this superstar, but he definitely earned it. Yeah, look at it. His opponent, sort of loser. Yeah, apparently it backfired. That's what you get for not accepting a loss. And now the celebration can begin. Maniacs. I'm Hydra Dave, and I got my unseen partner here, Hydra J Dog. He doesn't like cameras, and you only get to see his excellence in the ring. So, what you guys think of old Saginaw, Michigan? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't there, but we got to see a great match, a great show. Uh, a great first round of challenger tournament uh, out there at Saginaw, Michigan. So let's recap real quick and we'll get out of here, man. So we had in the kickoff match a quarterfinal match for the opportunity, the challenge. Namer, Prince of Atlantis for the Grand Prix Championship between Sasquatch from Alpha Flight and a newcomer, Masterman. Well, Masterman, you Nazi scum. See, that's the difference between Hydra and Nazi scum, okay? Everybody gets us all confused because we come from the same era. Nazi scum. I'm glad Sasquatch got a hold of you and squeezed your guts out and submitted you. Okay? Right on, Sasquatch. I don't normally root for that walking wannabe Chewbacca, but I did tonight, and I'm glad you lost. I don't care. I don't care that right now you are helping us in the fight against the invaders. I just don't like Nazi scum. Got it? Good. I hope to see you in the ring. Let you know the difference between Hydra and your bow guarding the sun sign from ancient freaking civilizations. Make it into something awful symbolize something awful so good on you Sasquatch hey also in the other quarterfinal match for the Grand Prix championship challenger we had we had Thor and Taskmaster and Taskmaster put up a good fight he looked a lot better against Thor than he did Juggernaut and uh, albeit Hey, the, the Universal Champion came out on top. He beat Taskmaster, but Taskmaster put up a good fight. And uh, Thor's going to be moving on in the tournament in the Grand Prix Challenger side of it. Also, we got to see a couple quarterfinal matches for the on the tag team side. First off, we had... Another pair of newcomers, the Cabal, led by Vlad the Impaler. And his uh, little thrall, Baron Blood. And they, I don't know, they, they never really got it going. I mean, they, they, they did some cool things, try and keep up, but after a while, it was just all mutants. It was all... Colossus and Beast. So they'll be moving on. And then on the other tag team was Fist Incorporated, Kingpin Craven going against the Invaders, Captain America, and Spirit of 76. Looks like the Patriots are going to be moving on. 
and they'll be invading another tag team in a semifinal yet to be determined. And to wrap it up, on the quarterfinal challengers for the UCWF Universal title currently held by Thor, the God of Thunder from Asgard. In the first quarterfinal we saw Drax the Destroyer going against the ever-loving blue-eyed thing Ben Grimm in a well-contested knockdown drag-out match which I think was probably the match of the night in my opinion and Thing once again came away with the win I think that's a uh, 2-0 against Drax by uh, if my memory serves me well and it may not and in our main event last but not least we had another fight between Hyperion and Trico No Belt Slatterus, who really showed his ass after the match because he lost. He lost because Hyperion dominated him. And uh, Champion, who's usually a really good sport, shows good sportsmanship, lost, just had a meltdown and decides he's going to get payback for losing against Hyperion. Then Hyperion beats him up some more. That's what you get, champion. That's what you get, Trico. Well, hey, where's this all going? So, we know that on at high noon, the last sun, Sunday of, Jan, of, uh, pardon me, of June, on June 28th, there will be A big show. We haven't heard what the name of the show is going to be. We just know that this is all coming down to a uh, clash of champions for the opportunity to uh, challenge for all three championship belts. So we're going to wrap this up. We're glad you tuned in. We hope you you liked it so much that you'll subscribe and you'll you'll. Click the notification and uh, get notified of we when we post new stuff and catch these feeds when they premiere and leave comments. We like to uh, haggle a little bit about how the matches went and how the matchups are being uh, put together and in, in the match cards and in, in, in the flow of of the uh, of the two different shows that we have uh, gone on a weekly basis. So, like to hear from you. So I'm Hydra Dave. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next Tuesday for the uh, Grandmasters UCWF show, a premiere show. And uh, we'll see what's going on with the Axis and Allies. All right, fellas, folks, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go. Turn off the lights. The party's over. You don't want to hear that. I'm Hydra Dave. That's my unseen partner, <clears throat> Hydra J-Dog. Hey!